he, to me, to me, with the knowledge that he got, he could easily go to the United Nations and get blacks something to where they can open up their own business, their own tennis shoe factories, their own car dealership. The black man in America, the Negro in America, don't have nothing. And the Chinese said, I don't owe you nothing. White boy, he owe you a job. I don't owe you nothing. Now, I own America. But the Chinese said, the white boy don't really owe you nothing. You need to stand on your own ten toes and create your own. The little boy that just got fired from that tennis shoe spot, all he's supposed to do is show them he ain't dumb and he ain't gonna go home up him a tennis shoe shop and sell tennis shoes ten dollars cheaper than they do. They'll be out of business in a minute. Blacks don't have no mind. The black man is just a basketball man, a gold mine, a coochie man, and a car. That's what he spent all his money on, and he ain't bought no land. So in 2022, you ain't got no land, you ain't got nothing. And you ain't got no law. You let the white boy make the law for you. Democrats, Republicans, that's their game. Donald Trump showed you that's their game. Now it's time for blacks to create their game, which blacks are not strong enough to do that. J. Edgar Hoover said you cannot organize the black man in America. You know all the Nigerians, Zulus, Kenyatas, they know who they are. Mm -hmm. The Negro do not know who he is. He don't even have his name. My name ain't my name. That's that Pecklewood name. Mm -hmm. When we left that slave plantation, we go over here to another plantation, our name changed to whatever his name is, whoever bought us. Mm -hmm. So now here we are right now, 2020. You can just down. Man, I just get in love. We signed with one of the biggest record companies in the world, MCA, and they're in the business of number one selling records. I wrote some tunes that you know weren't for Rare Essence, and they were more uh, pop tunes. And MCA heard them and just said instantly, "This is this is a hit. Period. You guys do this on yourselves, and you're out there. You're gone." But the problem with it is it's not rare essence. I look at them as kind of like new edition, Bobby Brown, you know, the younger type of hip hoppers that will not just come on the scene, but have the potential if they find the good hit and if they make those big hits to burst onto the scene. But to me, I don't think we need to be changed and I think we need to come the way go-go comes, when blues came, blues was blues. When, when jazz came, it was jazz. When, when uh, rap came out of New York, it didn't conform to R&B. And what you have to do with our situation is find material that fits us, that fits the realm of what MCA is trying to project us as, and fits our concept in general of whatever we're trying to do. Oh, it's going to happen if I, if I decide trying to do it. competition out here in the streets, especially in D.C. Everybody's trying to control, trying to get in the picture, trying to get a piece of, of the action, a piece of the pie, as you should put it. You can't work in the city too much because, you know, rare ass, you know, everybody, that's where all they're making all the money. So we work out around the city, around the metro, you know, around D.C., Virginia, way down Maryland, you know. Every, every Friday and Saturday, every Friday and Saturday, Saturday. Past, what, seven, eight months since, since we've been back together, we've been, been working every weekend. Working. Some Sundays, mostly Friday and Saturday. Maybe once the time, once the blue moon during the week, you know, we might go to a club. The weekend before last was the only weekend we had all since we've been back together. I started listening to Go Go as I was coming up in junior high school. I said I always liked music, you know. But I never thought my wildest dreams, I never thought that I'd be playing, you know, with the pump blenders or any other 
big band in the city, you know. I, basically, I used to play with a lot of small bands, you know, just to fulfill my fantasies. I was like, dream come true. Christmas. <laughs> you know, I'm happy where I'm at, you know. I feel, I feel that, uh, I feel that we have a chance, you know, really make it. So I'm gonna stick with it. We like family. We, we are close yeah, like family. We be together. Yeah, we ain't playing a lot of times. We together. We all together. We're our family. And like, like our women get mad and say, oh, you know, y'all, you be with the guys from the band all the time. You know, it's just what we always thinking since we've been together. <laughs> I remember the original program we started in all, back at the back of Howard University in a place called Detroit Park. One mint julep was one that I did. And uh, that was when the group first started out. Well, I went to the hospital where I seen surgery and I got a trachea and, uh, and uh, uh, I got a lung removed and I stopped playing uh, in, uh, I think it was 1967, around that, that, that time. It wasn't open for black musicians during them days when we were playing. It was very hard for black musicians. I, I've been, I was out there and for 20 years and I could only go to a certain degree. Plus, in that time, those times was harder than it is now. But he, he know how I love my music because he loved his music too. And he know how, you know, my, mo my mother can't understand too well because, you know, she wasn't in the music. But he understand, he'd be behind me more. It's not only him, it's, it's uh, his brother and his two sisters, all I'm saying play. But he's the one that uh, that uh, I'm really uh, I'm really behind because he seemed to have more drive and love music like I did. They stick out to me, chip off the old block. One, two, three, four. Oh, you got that show. We in the post. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> if you pick up these pamphlets that say Washington, D.C. and, you know, around town, and you flip through it, and, you know, I don't want to sound racist, but there's all these white folks and things, you know, the pretty houses, the, the White House, the monuments. If you don't know Go-Go's there, you're not going to know, period. Go-Go is a thing that you have to experience. It's not a, a thing you're going to love on record, first off. Oh! Wrong one! <laughs> what you want to tell me? Oh! Just put it on the back for right now. That's about everything. Honeys, bumping ass rides. That's what Go Go's all about. Take a look at these honeys, boys, straight up. Must be from like inner city DC and whatnot. I'm telling you, them honeys raw. You guys like Go Go? Well, I bet you I probably heard more Go Go than uh, the average person here. I'll, I'll bet you that. You got enough Go Go? You like Go Go? It's all right. You know? Good beat. Dance to, you know? Looks like it's going to be pretty peaceful today. Of course.
Well, most younger uh, groups seem to love to have a picture taken once they get dressed up, little nice outfits, sweatsuits, like you with the friends and have a picture taken. And I noticed, like, like yours says what? Paid Play, and Paid and for. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And they like something that, you know, they can all relate to. Got it. Uh -huh. Like that one over there, all the like finest. All the finest with MCM bags, EKs, you know, like to wear jewelry. Yeah. Mercedes. Yeah. How, I mean, like on a on a good day, how many pictures do we take? On a day, uh, I'd say we take maybe close to a hundred. And uh, seven, how much is it? seven bucks? Seven dollars, uh, seven. Some I'm charge eight. Like I said, we all go with things. You got hot cold sweat, prophecy, obsession, essence. Here's the news essence tape. I've recorded live at Virginia State University. Oh my God, I swear, man, I'm right. How much do you have to pay for a tape like that? Oh no, see, well, I got, I got, I'm a recorder. You can't even get these in the store, right? Oh no, you can't. These are called demo tapes. You got, yeah, yeah, go to the Google Live, get them. You can get them, right? But it's not the same type, you know, hyped up, enthusiastic energy type, you know, that type of stuff that you're gonna find at a live go go. white boy used to sell mama that way, sell a daughter that way, sell a son that way, and sell a husband that way. We fun of with one another and don't even know it because we...